Link's Tutorials. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Link with another paint tool side tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do your line art for, let's say you have a sketch that you did on either paint tool side, or you did it on paper, you scanned it in, and you want to do the line art for it, and you want it to look really nice and crisp. Okay, usually what I do is with my uh, images, let's see, my resolution is usually at 200 so that it comes out really big. So if you need to shrink it down, it won't lose any of the details. So when you start off, you're going to see this plus one layer. I usually add two layers just so I don't click on the bottom layer so that I don't mess up accidentally the line art the sketch layer, which would be really hard to edit but okay so what I would highly recommend is using your uh, pen tool changing the size to about four three or four uh, not two there we go now minimum size you want to keep that at zero because especially if you're a tablet user what minimum size does is it takes uh, the smallest size of your brush it makes it that thin like if you barely touch it and then you go deeper you see how it went thicker so you want to keep that at zero and the opacity you want it at a hundred percent okay so if you have a sketch and it's kinda dark all you have to do is go to the sketch layer go up here to the opacity or opacity whatever you want to call it and just lower it down enough to where you can still see it but it's not too distracting and doesn't blend in with the your line art okay I usually keep it at the uh, what is that that edge shape the very first one I keep it at normal and I tend to use the ink pen or the ink rather pen sorry I usually tend to use the pen more than I use any other tool just because the brush if you use it it tends to not stay the same uh, take a see. Okay, so once you have that all set up, all you have to do is figure out what you want to start off with. I usually start off with the head area. Okay, as you can see, that's kind of thin, so for this drawing, maybe a little thicker. It doesn't matter how thick you go because your minimum size is always should keep it the same. Okay, maybe not. A mm, little thinner. That works. Okay, so you want to be able to trace really well. Sometimes I mess up a lot. A lot. And you just want to keep with the uh, drawing. Now this drawing I actually drew. I know there's tutorials out there where people take a uh, picture that was done recent like by someone else and they d decide to try to retrace it to show you I think that's kinda dumb and they pass it off as a uh, how to draw they're not showing you how to draw they're showing you how to trace okay so pretty much that's all there is to it you could try the uh, brush tool if you want I just don't like it because looks jaggedy as well but I mean it's up to you it the reason why it's jaggedy is because it's got all the it's like a real brush see how it has the brush strokes I went over this last time you can make pretty eyes with it for girls because you can make those into eyelashes or you can use it to detail your hair layer okay <clears throat> So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, there's not much to uh, inking. You can use the ink pen if you want. The ink pen's pretty nice too. The only thing is, it stays the size of the brush. So say you're like me, I'm used to like being able to go thin, then thick. The ink pen will not do that. It will stay the same uh, size no matter how hard or how soft you press. This is me pressing really soft. This is really hard, okay? No change. So that's why I don't use the ink pen. Uh, I use the pen because 
you can do the uh, different sizes going thin to thick if you're like if you like that style or if you like you know the thick style then or staying one constant line thickness then you can do that but me I I love the pen it's just really great because you could add like thick to thin details where you want especially like doing it with the hair is really nice to be able to go from thin and the other side thick like that again I'll show you thin thick it gives it a cool little effect oops okay well that's pretty much it I highly recommend using the uh, pen tool again if you want to set the uh, shortcut key, all you have to do is double click it, go down to shortcut key, and change it to whatever you want. I have it set to B, because that's my main brush tool. <laughs> I know there's a brush, but I don't use that brush a whole lot. I use the pen. Alright, hope you uh, learned something. Hope that uh, I help you. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, coming up right after this, I'll show you how to color. Also, if you want to learn how to sketch, go ahead and click this box right here. Here. Click me! It's supposed to be a smiley face, but it's cut off. There. Click that box. Alright. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.